Okay, so today we're going to start talking a little bit about bonding. We're reviewing it since we've gone over it once before, but trying to bring it up a little bit, make it a little bit more clear for you guys. So we need to remember that bonding is when two atoms are sharing electrons. Okay, and every every uh, bond has to do with two atoms sharing them. And we have lots and lots of different types of atoms that can share. You can have carbon sharing with carbon. Remember this dashed line means that there's two electrons there. So we can also write a carbon dot dot carbon and it's saying the same thing. It's just here we're, we're simplifying it into a line. Uh, you can have something like Na bonding with Cl. Okay, and the same thing that they are sharing those two electrons. However you want to draw that, it means the exact same thing. But there is a difference in how they share those electrons, especially with the two examples I gave you, the CC and the NaCl. That difference comes from the electronegativity. of atoms. Okay? And electronegativity is how much pull does the atom have on the electrons. Okay? Well, and the easy, really easy way to tell that is if we have our periodic table, it looks something like this, right? And these guys, all our noble gases, they don't do anything. And then we have our super fluorine here. He is the most electronegative of the bunch. He's Superman, right? And we have Francim over here, and he is little wussy guy. He Okay, so the closer you are to fluorine, the stronger you are. Big muscle there. Right, whatever. Alright, so in our examples before, we had this Na bonded to a Cl. If we draw, if we looked on our periodic table, Na is right here. Cl is right in there, so we have Na over here on the wussy side, right? And we have Cl, who's very strong. Okay. Carbon, on the other hand, was carbon carbon. They're the exact same atom, right? Same thing. So neither one is stronger than the other. When we're looking at bonds, we can break them into four groups. And these groups are going to be based on strength. Okay. The first group sorry, first time writing on this will be the NACL group or really far apart. Okay, a metal, non-metal. These are going to be called ionic bonds. Closer together, if uh, we have our periodic table again, you guys are going to get sick of me drawing this, but remember we said that this, all these guys were non-metals. If I have two non-metals, we're going to call it a covalent, or polar covalent, excuse me. And this should be a P, not an R. Polar covalent 
bond. If we have two of the same nonmetal, two of them. So carbon, carbon, fluorine, fluorine, um, sulfur, sulfur. You need two nonmetals. We're going to call that a nonpolar covalent. 